the new Game of Side Live tonight. As you can see, we are going to show you the much-awaited uh, Death Stranding by Hideo Kojima. Uh, and as usual, uh, Driftwood, who I'm sure you already seen as an excellent uh, video review and also text review, even though yours is a bit shorter. Uh, so he's going to do the playing and uh, explaining because there's a lot of explaining to do on that one. I drift. There is high. Uh, there actually is, and I I do hope I remember. I haven't played the game in in a week, but I've played so much of it before <laughs> uh, that uh, I think I still remember the basics. Uh, and this is the beginning. It's not the exact beginning of the game. Um, it's the beginning of episode two. Uh, we can show you the first three episodes or chapters, if you if you will, and. Um, and this is basically just after the prologue and most of the footage of the prologue I've shown uh, minus uh, some of the long cutscenes. Uh, well, I haven't shown everything. There's many things uh, story-wise I haven't shown, but that I think it was my decision not to show too much, even if it was just the beginning, so you can enjoy the surprise uh, and uh, dive into that very strange world uh, yourself. <laughs> Strange it is. It is, yes. And so Sam is is waking up because you can you can take a little nap. Uh, just like Blim sometimes. Uh, when uh, on a live stream it's uh, it's getting a bit boring. Yeah. And he's getting a little tired. Oh. And so it's not our first time out. Uh, but it's the first time we actually have um, cargo that is not human to deliver in the game if you don't count the prologue when you have to come back to a distribution center after meeting with uh, Fragile, um, a, a real mission. So <coughs> I have for this uh, first assignment, and I actually I'm showing this uh, in a video on the website too, if you prefer the best possible quality, um, I have some equipment, uh, and then here ladders that I'm going to to use uh, quite a lot in the beginning, uh, and actually throughout the game. Although it's not going always to be my ladders that I'm going to use, uh, you can see that I can pee too. I can urinate. It's a Kojima game, so of course you can. Well, yeah, you can I also in the private room. You can. This time there's a reason. For yeah, there's a reason in the private room too when you go. Uh, pee or <laughs> or you go shit there, there's also a reason for doing it and it's all explained but I'm not going to get into details because like I said I want you to have as many surprises as possible when you play the game yourself if you're interested because that's not a game for everyone is it yeah yeah I don't think anyone is going to debate that but it's a game I personally really uh, dug I loved it uh, I just couldn't wait playing it again every time I had to stop uh, for different reasons because I had to go to bed because I had to go to work and um, and uh, it's it's quite a difficult game to explain really because uh, like a lot of people have said and that's one of the fears they had or even some of the complaints that some of the journalists have, have had over the past few days is that basically what you do is you just walk from point A to point B yeah. to deliver things. It's basically the ultimate walking simulator. I would say like more like a <laughs> hiking simulator more than walking or trekking simulator like you're on a trek all the time. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's I would say maybe the 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 trek itself can be uh, frustrating at times. And that's what's make the game uh interesting uh in the end because all the frustration you can feel like it's because it's difficult to reach a place because you're um you know you're carrying a lot of cargo and this is this is not a lot obviously this uh, i can I can basically move around pretty naturally here uh but when you have a lot of it when you carry a lot of things uh then you have to think every every move you're going to make is going to be important it's going to take time and as you see, it's a uh, it's a mountainous world. It's uh, supposed to be uh, the uh, east of the U.S., but uh, it, it, looks it looks more like very much like Iceland. Yeah, yeah it looks more like Iceland. This part uh, there's a bit more variety in the second map 
that you unlocked. And here you can see that even uh, crossing, uh, uh, you know, just, just a bit of water is actually uh, potentially dangerous. Uh, you can use a scanner, the other deck, that is going to reveal uh, if it's uh, deep or not. Yellow is okay. Red, uh, you, you probably shouldn't try. And this is when the ladders can come in handy. Uh, especially when you're carrying things that can be damaged by water. Which I'm not at the moment. And actually the scanner also gives you information about the, the terrain. And uh, where you shouldn't be maybe uh, stepping on. If you don't want to fall when you're sort of overloading. So the blue markers here, they... Is it something from the game, or is it something from the community? Uh, at this point in the game, there's no community because you first need okay. to connect the chiral network, uh, and this is this is basically what happens. This is this is left by an NPC more or less. Uh, this is meant to be here, and it's cargo that's been uh, dropped and that you can take to destination, so you can help that person, which you will be able to do with other players as well and the, the well the cargo I mean but in the in the every time you go somewhere you haven't been to and it's not connected to the Cairo Carol net network you're not going to be able to to see what players are going to share so usually when it's a player there's there's a there's a name attached to it uh, so you know who you're going to help or you know who's helping you because obviously when someone leaves a ladder behind you're going to make good use of it because you're going to be able to to use you know maybe a, a different route than you would have used uh because you didn't take enough ladders or because you didn't you couldn't actually um, take ladders because it was too heavy with all the stuff you had to carry so it's a uh, it's really a game about finding your way finding the best way to get uh, uh to your destination and trying to make sure that your cargo is not going to be damaged or that you're going to be able to deliver in time even though if you basically uh, there are like premium sort of deliveries that you can ask for if you want to try to do it faster uh, but usually when you have a time limit you have more than enough time uh, to to do it at least in normal mode which is what I've played for the most part I started in hard I uh, didn't think it was difficult, but then there was the first, not the first boss fight, really, but uh, the maybe the second one then, uh, and uh, that, it was it was not impossible, clearly, uh, but then I realized, okay, I've been playing for a long time, and I'm just at the second boss, so maybe I should go back to normal, but uh, if I had to play the game again, and I'm thinking that's something I should, I could do, um, like you know on PC maybe uh, uh, this summer or even on PS4 again if I have the time which I will never have uh, I would probably play it on the hard um, another way to make it more difficult is to play offline which actually I'm, not, I'm quite not quite sure it's online because uh, I launched the game to make the some of the videos uh, of the beginning uh, yesterday and the servers were not online and we were told they would be back online. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm guessing... Oh, yeah, I'm online. Yes, it's written on top. Okay, no problem. So here it's just the beginning. So uh, I'm supposed to go have uh, this. I can use the first person view. Uh, indicating... I was going to ask how, how, how you knew where you were supposed to go. You also have a map, obviously, here. And this is what uh, I should have probably uh, started with, is uh, so you can see that there's a time fall, sign of the time fall, which is the rain, and potentially the arrival of uh, BTs, uh, the bridge, uh, the beach things, uh, beached things, not quite sure, uh, which are uh, you know those uh, ghostly figures, black ghostly figures uh, that are uh, the main threat in the game, and. Um, what you can do is you can place markers uh, and then trace your itinerary right. but the thing is uh, and it's actually a, a nice feature uh, what makes it a bit more difficult to use as it should is you can actually press the the touchpad and then by moving the 
the the oh, the controller. You can see the elevation. Yeah, but I would say it's not really practical, and you can't do much actually. So you see, you see it a little better. It's not easy on the, on the on the hands and the wrists. To be uh, perfectly honest, I don't find it very comfortable, uh, and I don't think it's something you really you really can tell uh, the terrain that much. And I would. I mean, and that's my opinion, obviously. But that I, I would probably have preferred uh, something more, like more natural, like using uh, the the thumbsticks to actually, uh, you know, use a three D map or, so, or something that would have made a bit more uh, sense. You, you can count on Kojima to to use a gimmick and uh, sure, and but it, uh, but then it should be possible. It it should have been possible to do more than this. Kojima, it, it was never. <laughs> okay, so see, <laughs> then 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 you do. So it's it's not very convenient. So in the end, I was I was sometimes using it uh, just for direction, and then you arrive and you say, okay, this is not possible, so I'm going to go around it, uh, and then and then it worked. But I think the the map could have been a lot more um, if it had been a 3D map that we could have actually uh, seen more of uh, the mountains and everything to know exactly where we could do. But that's probably also on purpose to make it more challenging and to to make it a bit more difficult yeah, and and to find and more surprises yeah more surprising yeah. more surprises uh on the way so when when rain falls uh it accelerate the passage of time and uh it can damage your your cargo uh so first obviously it's the uh not the cargo itself it's you know more like the boxes uh and you have sprays you can use later in the game to uh, put everything everything back uh, to uh, you know their original state, uh, but obviously if uh, you don't pay attention to that, and if you fall, you're going to arrive at destination and you'll have not maybe ruined cargo, but it will be damaged, and and so you'll get m fewer likes as a result. And can you can you get damage yourself in the in, the, in time fall because we see it in cutscenes, but no, you, you can't. Are you, are you in danger? No, no you're not. Uh, and uh, in the beginning, I thought that you know because in the, in the introduction he decides to wait out the end of the time yeah. fall, and he finds a cave. And so at some point in the beginning, I, I found it was not so much a cave; it was more like a place where I was. It wasn't wet, so I could could stay and say, okay, I'm going to wait. And after five minutes, I, I said, "Well, maybe this this area is just timefall, and that's it. And it's not; it's never going to end." Yeah. And I was I was given this impression, and later on in the game, you realize that it's not exactly true, but that timefall can be pretty long. Like it's not in terms of like it's not just two, three, five minutes, or even ten. It can be twenty. It can be thirty. Um, so it's not like in other games when r where rain usually doesn't last very long. It's it's mm -hmm. uh, it's more realistic. Yeah. Now that being said, some areas you will never see any time fall, and and basically this area is a time time fall on, but it's more or less uh, explained in the in the story. So uh, that makes sense. Yeah, but there's there's no day uh, night cycle in this. No, no, that's actually one of the things I regret and uh, you know, some people are going to say it's not a big deal but I think it, it could have added a lot more I don't know, atmospheric sequences if you had to, you know, like it would be rainy and you would have uh, the BTs e everywhere and you would have to light your way with the, the odor deck which can actually light your way but at, like in two instances in the game and it's very short and you cannot even do in like darker places when it's when it's dark because of the rain or or the trees and the rain yeah uh, you cannot use it so that uh, i would have loved to see uh if not a day night cycle at least something happening uh and like in the course of the story like it would be night for a while and it would be different but yeah. no so you you can see the bts here uh the uh odor deck and the bb actually work a bit like in Silent Hill with the radio you know the it mm -hmm. starts to bip and yes. the more it of static, yeah. yeah and the more it, it bips and the closer you get and you can use the scanner to actually see them to see the shape and what you should do is when you get close to them you have to hold your breath 
which depends on uh, your stamina and you're not going to be able to have more stamina as in most games today where you start and you don't have much and then you, you get stronger and you, yeah. you you have more endurance so it's something you have to you're going to have to deal with and of course the BB crying or whining is not making it easier to keep your calm okay, so, so the BB can, can be heard? yeah uh, usually we that's the question? come again we've got a question from oh, the yeah. audience of the guest who asked can you drop cargo when you're close to mule camps I don't exactly know what it is but I'm sure you know uh, probably, I'm not sure I heard with the, the noise, so can you repeat if you don't mind? Okay, sorry. Uh, I guess I'm going to have the game a bit lower. Um, yeah, can you drop cargo when mm -hmm. you're close to mule camps? You can drop cargo wherever you want, basically. And when w the, the, the question is, uh, is relevant because mules are exporters like Sam, who've gone crazy, more or less, uh, and they... Their purpose in life now is to steal people's cargo because they need cargo. You know, it's like, okay. like they're addicted to cargo and goods uh, and packages and, and stuff. So if you, uh, if you go through an area where they have uh, set up camp and you don't have cargo, you're, you're pretty much safe. But if you do, they're going to scan the area and they're going to find you have cargo and your last known position or the last known position of your cargo will be indicated. So you can drop it before, you can drop it once you're inside that area. Uh, but you, um, if, if you want to, to get it back, because what's going to happen is probably they're probably going to take it and bring it back to their camp. Uh, but if, if it's something important, it's probably not... Uh, an option you want to to take, so it's more like I have to um, I don't know try to uh, escape, try to find another way, or try to fight my way out of it. Even though in the beginning you don't have anything but your fists, and uh, it's pretty fun to use them, but it's pretty limited too, uh, yeah. as you can imagine. Yeah, I mean. But well, I, I like the physics in the game. I mean, not the physics of the vehicles, okay, which so is terrible. A, a but follow-up uh, question it would be: Can you store it? You can store uh, you can store cargo in uh, some places that are pl private, well, lockers basically, uh, that can be shared or private. And when you have uh, when you build a locker that you can build anywhere you want, uh, I'm sh actually I'm going to build one in in just a few minutes. Uh, you're going to be able to leave car your cargo in your private locker so no one will have access to it. Or you're going to be able to drop things, and it means cargo or equipment, uh, in the shared locker so that other players can can uh, enjoy it or can also finish a delivery because that's something you can ask or, uh, or that you don't ask because you drop it somewhere in the wild and someone will find it and, and, uh, and will... Uh, will make the delivery for you so that's all part of that system which is why I was going to say before that you can play offline and it makes the game more difficult because everything the the players the other players built to help you and it's not going to be there and I'm guessing that maybe there'll be a few things like built by NPCs uh, that the developers will have made for you but uh, you'll have to create most of the things but at the same time, you won't get that that feeling of let's say it's it's a, a feeling of accomplishment when you realize that everyone's working together, and that the world is changing, and that you can you can lose a few hours basically trying to to build something and say okay, I'm going to take the time to build a bridge and to to build a locker. You don't need anything but that. Uh, CCP thing that uh, we're going to see in a few uh, minutes uh, but if you want to build a bridge you need also resources and sometimes like roads it's the same and it takes a lot of resources to build roads so y you can lose a few hours just putting things in places there are things you can also build in the uh, last part in the later part of the game that I'm not going to talk about even though I'm sure people mentioned it but that won't be me. And uh, those things, you can also make it easier for other players to reach some areas that you've struggled to reach yourself. Uh, but 
by trying to help them it's going to take time to but it's something you won't mind because you want to help and that's that's something that usually in games you you try to beat the other players and you try to have more uh, points you have to a better score or anything and in this game it's more like well I want to help people and I, I don't want like a reward because you get likes sure but the likes you get from players they're not going to help you in any way it's more like okay I did something nice and someone you know enjoyed it and I'm happy so you know it's it's a maybe a lot more upbeat and optimistic in terms of uh, even though the story may seem dark when you play it uh, there's a there's something pretty optimistic uh, about this game like it's it, I would say it's peace yeah, and love but it's more like that they said it was uh, yeah it was, a, it was a, a game about people connecting with each other and not uh, not actually war so, yeah. and uh, in so a way it's it's uh, a it's uh, a bit I like have a follow-up question before we yeah. move on with our explanation uh, uh, are the controls similar to Horizon? No, they're not. I, c I uh, well, I haven't played Horizon in in a long while, but I think yeah, the controls uh, are. I mean, the feeling you have is like you know something I've never really felt before in another game. It, it's not difficult to move around. It's not it's not a chore to actually uh, you know m walk with a uh, heavy load and everything. But it's uh, it it really feels like you're you really feel the efforts actually and when you reach your destination, I mean you I mean Sam is tired, you know he breathes uh, breathes heavily, uh, he will and but but at the same time you too are tired. It's like you finally I'm there and what the game does is because you unlock things to make your life a little bit easier, not a lot easier. It's it, there's always a reward, so to speak, to make you want to keep going because the going somewhere was maybe difficult, but coming back will be easier. Not just because of the things you you built, but because you're going to unlock, for example, a vehicle, so it's going to be quicker. Uh, but then you realize that vehicles, uh, I mean, they're not going to be able to to uh, to go everywhere, uh, and and it's not going to be. Uh, you know, like stunts and, and crazy drifts and things like that. It's more like, uh, like I said, ma the, the the macro in Mass Effect, where you know physics was not incredible, but the sense of you know exploration you had, the f the feeling you because you're always alone in this game, you you see where the other players leave, and sometimes like uh, you know signs they leave warning you of a danger or just in encouraging you to continue. Uh, but but you're not going to meet a lot of people, and uh, and you won't you will never meet uh, other players. So there's a feeling of loneliness, but at the same time, just knowing that you're, I don't know, like you're actually feeling the pain <laughs> that the character feels, uh, and it's sometimes it's difficult because yes, the it turned out that it, that the, the the delivery was much more difficult you'd, you'd expect it because you you ran into mules or terrorists. Or BTs, uh, and then your character was uh, out of breath. I mean, he was out of stamina, so he had to rest. Uh, and then finally, you, you made it, uh, but your goods were damaged a little bit because, well, yeah, you got attacked and you didn't react the way you you should have. And when you arrive, you're oh man, I'm I'm there, uh, and uh, it's going to be all right now. And then there's another expedition, and then new places to explore and to discover and new obstacles to overcome so uh yeah i don't think it it plays like any other game in that uh, the movements and everything the sense of weight and um and balance you need to keep is uh, is different but it's not different in a hardcore way that you're never going to just move one 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 foot and then you're going to fall it's it's not that difficult so but uh, at the same, it's hard to explain, but I understand why people would, would think it's going to be boring, uh, because it's just you walking. But I would say, like in first-person shooters, it's just you running and shooting. So, you know, it depends on the point of view, and and I think it's a game where you have to, you you have, you have to reach reach out for it. You know, if you wanted to give you back something you need to you need to do that effort to 
you need to accept that it's it's more about role playing in the purest sense of the w of the word so more like i'm going to be sam and i accept that yes sometimes it's uh, it's it's going to be frustrating but not in a bad way not in a i want to stop playing way more like a, okay it's frustrating right. because it's so difficult bad way for you because what for me you, yeah, sure. with viewers uh, actually hated it well yeah I, and i understand that too uh what i do not understand is the people who uh, bitched about uh, the fact that they only had the game two weeks before release and then uh because they were working for you know magazine the print magazine it's uh it was impossible to to uh deliver the review on time and then decided not to review it at all although it's their job and they get paid for that and saying anyway I stopped playing after five hours because it was boring. So it's not like I'm, you know, I would have reviewed it well, anymore. The edge guy stopped after forty hours, I think. That's forty. Okay, okay. so that's a bit more. But still, you know, yeah. I, I think it's, he it's just didn't allow like to finish the game, so he couldn't give a, a, a score. Yeah, for sure. He, he, he still was f quite far along. It just okay. was not possible humanly to do it. Well, it it actually is possible if I could do it and I have a day job. No, well, the 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 print deadline was oh, way yeah, before sure. so the that, date. That I understand, you know, that it can be frustrating for this reason. But I think it's you know I I, I remember when I was uh, younger and I you know I would still read magazines at the time that sometimes yeah games arrived late and they were reviewed in the next issue and. That was not that much of a big deal for me as a reader, uh, so I think that's something that you owe to the reader. And just just to say, that I think that the way it was expressed, like, well, I could, I was not, it was not impossible to uh, make the review on time because we're print, and uh, and and anyway, the game was boring. And I know it's it's not exactly what he said, but well, they, they did a, a six-page preview said so it's well, always basically a review but it's recorded it a preview because okay. they, they weren't allowed to record it yeah but i mean uh, what he said uh, on, on twitter i think was oh not yeah, yes, really he, he, smart he, after That's 40 all. hours he's allowed to his opinion ah uh, sure i guess and like i said it's not a game for everyone and i understand people who are going to think it's it's boring and we're going to think it's how could it get so uh you know so good ratings people had to <laughs> to 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 be biased for that etc you know this is the kind of things we're going to read now that people are going to play it yeah uh, but well another question uh, that's yep. still from uh, guns of the guest mm -hmm. uh, so i guess he's a big fan of, uh, of decima uh, you need to uh, uh, he is asking if you need to unlock the rest feature uh you mean for to, to rest every anywhere you want I guess. No, no, no. You you can basically. Is is what happens when you? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm actually going to ask him to shut up. Thank you. Um, so no. Uh, even when you like, if you stop playing and you leave your controller and you, and you, you know, you you leave Sam like this, uh, he's going to sit down and rest. Uh, you can do it by just pressing the circle button, well actually not pressing it, but for a long time. And then you can uh, massage your shoulders or sleep. Massage your shoulders is just one press. So what, what does it do when you do that? It give you some stamina, something like that? The massage thing, I'm not too sure to be honest. I tried a few times, that, well maybe I didn't try when I really was out of stamina. Sleeping helps your stamina, but it takes yeah, a long sure. time too. Uh, and uh, and the sleeping thing is what you saw in the beginning of the live stream, and is is pretty cute to see uh, him. You know, well, like not exactly cuddling the BB, but almost like sleeping together. So here I'm supposed to take another assignment, which is going to be uh, as a tutorial mission, where I'm going to be explaining that I can fabricate, I can build things okay firstly and this is the the pcc i said the ccp <laughs> maybe it's in french i don't remember the pccs can be used to can be used to, to build structures and you unlock uh, a second level of pcc as, as you play and so you can build bigger things so like the bridges i talked about or the roads uh, so to build things when you are at a distribution center 
you need the resources of that center which means that if they don't have any you're you're going to need to bring some to them i've never really been in the situation where uh there's nothing i can build but sometimes like you won't be able to build vehicles because you you will be able to build your own vehicles well th they they don't look different except for the color if you want to change the color but um so it, it's something that also by helping the world to connect you're going to make it possible for the distribution centers to have more resources uh and and so obviously ladders also you can build uh climbing anchors and then when you're set you say okay i think i have everything i i need then you confirm and then you have to load it so you can load it manually and choose exactly where you want to put everything you can put everything on your back uh, which looks okay now but you can also auto range cargo which i think is a neat feature in a way but at the same time pretty much kills the uh, point of actually trying to do it yourself yeah that's what i was going to ask if there's a point in actually doing it yourself uh, can well, you I actually do it better i i uh, well i i I'm can't, i can't say for sure but i've never really bothered i mean when i saw okay. that you could auto range cargo um it's not something i felt like i wanted to you know lose time doing but you know if people want to to do it sure they can so um yeah the the arrange cargo option i think probably it would make sense to uh to maybe uh, be able to uh, lock it before you start a game or maybe in hard mode it should should not be possible to do that but this is hard mode and you can do it so i think it's more like they realize that that would probably be cumbersome for some players uh so in the end they decided for that because i really thought that it was there would not be such an option in the game considering what i heard about uh the game before we got the the review code i really thought and i i was a bit concerned to be honest because i i i thought maybe this is something i'm going to to uh to find quite boring uh in the end so here you see it's, it's much heavier but again i can arrange cargo it doesn't make much of a difference here so let's continue and i'm going to head out so but i actually like the option because i think it's you know i, I prefer to be on the road walking than just to be playing tetris and on some guy's backpack but i think it would be nice to add the option to uh, or a game mode you know like uh, easy normal hard and i don't know realistic or uh, hardcore where it it would be uh, something you would have to do and then only uh, the people who would be ready to uh, to make such a sacrifice of time would do it so uh, uh, I'm sure we will uh, have some people who actually show that they can put put on I don't know ten kilo more or whatever if they do it manually. Usually there's a limit uh, which can change or you know as you progress into the game, but there's a, a limit of weight you can you can you can carry. Okay, so it's not just you 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 have a, a, a limit that you can't. Uh, you can go above it, uh, even if you place it uh, very, very well. If it's it just, okay, you can carry 150 that kilos and that's it. I think it's also like uh, the height of cargo you can have because you're, you, I mean, in the end, you have to be able to enter the different centers and places. And so it, it cannot be above a certain height. Uh, but also when it's too heavy, when it's too much, you can still take things. Uh, I would say like, you know, it could be like really heavy things and it's not, too high on your shoulder but it's too heavy and then uh, Sam actually uh, because it's so heavy he walks very slowly so mm -hmm. you could do it but changing where the uh, the things are on your back not sure it's going to make a big difference more because it's more about weight than ba balance I see. so what is also nice is uh, the two triggers actually are the two hands so which means this is what you're going to use to keep your balance so you can move like that How you doing, Sam? if you don't 
what will well I'm not sure it's going to happen but you you can see there's some uh, sort of inertia here and mm -hmm. if it's if it's like really high on your shoulders uh, I mean you're going to trip and fall and then you have to use R2 or L2 to keep your balance uh, now there's a prompt on screen just like for the hold your breath uh, prompt that um, Actually, not sure. Uh, probably you can you can uh, you, you don't have to play with them if you mm, let me check because I played with it and I think that at some point it was maybe a bit you know something that I would deactivate if I was just playing for myself and if I could the so hot settings mm, show markers reticule uh, I'm not too sure probably not the best time to to be uh, checking this uh, oh you can hide signs containing spoilers by the way which is nice because you know because the community can put yeah. signs and things everywhere so <laughs> one question I have is what will happen when a lot of people play at the same time yeah, yeah, uh, I, w I was I was thinking about that when uh, uh, our friend uh, Guns of the Air guest was asking all of this question. I was thinking, mm -hmm. uh, what, what, wh how is it going to work when we've got one million player? I don't think it's one do server, do but I'm, I might be wrong. But I think it's it, it's not one server because even when I, I was playing, I felt like there were quite a lot of people playing, um, and I never had a situation where there were like. Uh, five bridges uh in you know in the exact same place you could have like one bridge over there by the rocks mm -hmm. one here and one a bit you know further up the stream over there but it was not like or well, maybe there's a limit like you can't maybe they 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 well they must have thought it through hopefully <laughs> i'm sure they did but um, i'm still curious still curious about and and one thing i'm i'm work. curious to know is also someone who plays the game in two months i mean what will happen when he connects everything? Will he have like tons of things everywhere? Because everything you 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 built can be destroyed by the time fall, so it needs uh, to be taken care of if you don't want it to dis to be destroyed. But over the course of my review, uh, I spent uh, quite a lot of time playing, like more than seventy hours, and uh, I've I've seen like you know prompts on the screen saying like a ladder was destroyed or you know, a, a climbing rope. Uh, so that was, you know, one less ladder in the world. Uh, but I never is, really... Is it about your ladders? Or no, 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 any like ladder? any ladder can okay. be, you know. So you cannot, um, let's say, fix a ladder which has, you know, aged because of, of time fall. But bridges uh, and things like that, you can. You know, you can make sure that uh, what people have built, especially roads and bridges, uh, it's not mm -hmm. going to disappear if you, if you, if you want to take the time to, to maintain them, uh, in order. So this is a post box. So this is the locker I was talking about. So this doesn't take a long time, and it doesn't take resources. All you need to have is that box you have, uh, and then you can select between post box or other things. So every time you finish a, a delivery, you get uh, a rating, and then uh, consider. And then also you are reminded uh, uh, of you know uh, the time you've played, uh, which is why I know exactly how much time I've played the game. Uh, and uh, when f for the deliveries, what you do and the likes you get, this is going to affect your character, and the delivery time will. Uh, the devil volume will allow you to carry more, for example. Uh, the uh, miscellaneous is more about getting more likes, which is just for, I don't know, people's ego, I guess. Uh, but not really... Probably, yeah, maybe it can help for the, uh, also for the NPCs. Didn't actually really check that. So, so there's always a structure menu for each structure you build. Uh, which means you can dismantle structures even if it's a structure you haven't built. I've never done that, but I guess some people could do it. Not sure again what it could hap what could happen with people 
who are idiots uh, and who want to destroy what other players have done in the world. <laughs> and there is many of these people. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, there's a, you know, the world is a big place. So, yes. Um, you can upgrade a structure too. Uh, and you can also personalize it. Personalize it. But that's the share locker. It's, of course... You can claim cargo you've lost, for example, or you've asked for. Or you can donate weapons and equipment, which is what I said. And then other players will be able to find your, say, your ladder here. And you place it in share, lo in share locker. And of course, I, I'm willing to be very nice with people. And you can use your private locker. And if there are things you have here that you don't need right away you can put them there okay right and now i think if i'm not mistaken no i'm actually holding my breath yeah i'm supposed to go over there and which is why i'm carrying cargo here so this is uh one of the videos i've also uh put up and <laughs> I really wanted to make that video because that's more or less what you're going to do in the game even though obviously here uh, the terrain is it's probably easier to to progress I mean you don't feel like it maybe uh, you don't feel that's true because you you discover the game and this first area is probably simpler than the, the second one uh, especially when you get to explore more of it more of the second one uh, places it's going to take a long long time to to reach uh, but uh, the mission I think and the video was uh, maybe 15 minutes maybe a bit more of me walking and avoiding mules and uh, avoiding BTs and again playing it making the video I was just so much aware that some people would say what the fuss is all about this game i mean it 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 looks boring and it didn't feel boring for me to to play this part of the game again so it's really going to be uh i think it's there's people are going either to love it or hate it i don't think yeah, there's going to yeah, be like a, a, a middle ground game so obviously sometimes the, uh, although I think the animations uh, are great, uh, the uh, collision between the Sam and uh, and the rocks, you know, especially when climbing or climbing in areas you shouldn't try to be climbing because it's you know he's not an Assassin's Creed character or he's not Link from uh, Breath of the Wild, uh, or using uh, climbing ropes also, also was just a tiny bit disappointed that. Uh, it was not, it was not, um, let's say, you know, like the, where the feet went, it, it sometimes it, it was, uh, didn't look very, very nice. Uh, whereas here on the ground and with the rocks, I think it's, uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty great. So something that I, I've shown <coughs> here is that, you know, details and the rocks pretty amazing mm -hmm. a bit less for the uh, sometimes the textures makes you, makes you wonder about uh, horizon 2 on the playstation 5 yeah what uh, we'll be able to do looking forward to finding out oh yeah horizon was a really great but you know what i would say what the game shared with horizon is the uh, the 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 real pleasure you get from I'm not going to be able to to uh, because it's it's an it's really a new the story is original in a way uh, the game world is something you've never seen before and the horizon had that you know something that yep. felt new that felt fresh um, and in the case of uh, of horizon it was also the the combat was was done in a well, it felt different because of, you know, who you were up against. Um, and it didn't feel as good when you were up against humans because, well, that's not where the game uh, shown, in my opinion. 
it's it's funny because uh, in a way this game is more or less doing the same I and mean, it takes the approach of you have to move your character from point A to point B uh, and you walk or you run or you drive a vehicle like many other games have done before but in a way no other games have really uh, done before and that makes if you add the, the game world the story the characters that makes it a quite a unique experience that yeah I really loved but that I know some people are going to just hate not because just because it's Kojima and it's you know well I don't like Kojima he's overrated and everything but because yeah so I'm, I've been spotted by mules yeah I was going to ask so there's music going on but I you know it's not too heavy on my shoulder so I can run I don't have m too much also so I can hide in the grass. But the thing is, they're probably going to use their scanner again. They're, they have a, an Odra deck too. So, in this case, if you, re you really want to maybe try to get rid of them, see, uh, is, yeah, you drop your cargo and you try to... Um, you don't kill people in this game because killing is bad news for everyone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. But is that a good uh, idea? You, in the box. beginning, I said you only have your fist, but it's not quite right because you also have this uh, a strand. Nice choice of word. And if you yeah. uh, if you're stealthy and you arrive from behind, what you can do is you can uh, incapacitate them uh, and uh, tie them up. So see, that's that's a player. Okay. Because that's a very strange name. Uh, and I can like, and I can actually, it's not just the one like you can put. But I can like 50. And in the, can I, I, what's the difference between one and 50 for you? Are you losing something when you give a like? No, 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 no. It's more like the, there's a limit, so you cannot, it's like spam likes. Uh, and so it, it, you know, it remains reasonable, I guess. <laughs> Although sometimes I, I was playing with a review, so like some people like like thousands of likes, and I said like, well, it's not fair. I don't get thousands of likes. So what should I do to get thousands of likes? So I don't know. Maybe those people had a lot of connections in the uh, you know journalist world. So mm -hmm. people were leaving like maybe it, it, it just was it's a sad weight of a of a rope or uh, or oh yeah, maybe maybe. So they're still after me. And here, yeah, terrain is, uh, and you actually, it's not like you can stop immediately when you're, you know, uh, it's, again, it's not too heavy here, but when you when you run, when it's a, uh, it's a, you know, steep like here, uh, Sam is not going to stop because you stop playing. See here, I'm not touching anything, <laughs> but he, you know, he keeps yeah. walking or running because there's the weight uh on his on his back and ooh whoa wha what is that that's uh that's, oh, a, that's cutscene. a cutscene okay yeah f <laughs> first time it happened <laughs> for it me was it was like what what's going on because there's this time fall and if you check my video i didn't i didn't uh go this way but the mules were after me and uh the cutscenes was a bit different i mean you you didn't have like that zoom thing that uh, okay what what the hell is going on there's a bug yeah it was very strange and so, let me show you. Oh no, not 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 now, but just yeah, in a bit. We've got uh, five minutes left. That's the thing. You can't show this game. It's impossible. I mean, you need forever to <laughs> just to go from one place to another. But for me, that's something that I do enjoy in games. I take my time. Uh, just just look around. See. Again, it looks so great. It looks very realistic. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's 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 a bit like traveling, like yourself, just uh, in another world. So every time you find lost cargo, there's also the destination written. So you you know for you have I have to go back to the capital, which is where we started. So it's not my way. So it's probably best to leave it here. But then I can I can take it to where I'm going and then leave it there, and you won't get as many likes as if you get it to destination. But then it will be delivered, 
uh, somehow so you still get a few likes so you can do that too but the thing is every every time you go somewhere you can take cargo or you can just enjoy the fact that okay I'm gonna go back to where I'm, I, I'm from I was I was coming from because that's um, that's what I'm supposed to do let's not take any cargo and then I feel I'm so free because I can run I can you know it's it's not as difficult as it was before when I was carrying uh, you know some of the things on my back so that's where I was I thought that okay that's a good place to wait out the time fall uh, and then I waited for more than five minutes and said well maybe I should go because maybe it's never gonna stop but uh, when you progress into the game you'll see cars so there's a that's a, that's a horizon zero dawn yeah do, do do we know w when it's supposed to 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 be? Uh, I is it uh, a few an hundred years in the future? Two hundred? I so don't think do it's too far in the future. I but then I not well. That's how I took it, but I don't remember if it's because they say it like they give a date or in the things I've read in the emails I've read. There's a lot of things to read to read, and I would recommend you reading them. The email you get sometimes they're a bit silly uh, because you know people are so happy with your work that they congratulate you they thank you and there are like smileys and th stuff in the, in the email so yeah it's maybe a, a bit too much uh but but at the same time it it give that connection between sam and people and it you know makes you feel useful uh for those people those you know npcs but then you also unlock things from the lore so more like documents that the, the other main character the secondary characters wrote and it's it's actually quite interesting uh, and here when the time fall uh, really starts and the BTs are around you can see that grass and plants they I mean they grow very fast and they die out very fast too mm -hmm. and it's a very nice effect disturbing too yeah that's that's uh, how it, it makes you feel throughout the game although yeah sure when you more or less know how to deal with them you ov obviously now nah, I don't have anything to fight them but uh, if you hold your breath and if you pay attention to your other deck uh, use your BB it's it's not going to be a it, you know it's just that you're going to take a bit more time because you want to be careful but it's mm -hmm. not that difficult and the and, and combat in normal modes which is why I said that if you really want if you like a challenge and I would say even just a little bit of challenge don't play in normal mode because there really isn't any challenge in the combat and combat is probably not the best um, the best feature in the game it's you know it's workable it's uh, you know but uh, the boss fights there they are nowhere near as let's say uh, inventive and uh, memorable as those as uh, Metal Gear and for people thinking that this is going to be a a sort of Metal Gear game with the, you know, they they can look very cool and the animations are great and everything, but you don't get a Psycho Mantis sort of, uh, you know, gimmick to to beat them. It's really simple and uh, in normal mode, you don't you don't die that that much. I mean, you basically you, I, I think it's really possible <laughs> to never really die. I barely died. I died a few times, but. Uh, so yeah, hard mode, I think. But then if you think it's going to make you spend even more time with the game, you're not too sure you're going to enjoy all the time you have uh, walking and, uh, you know, uh, avoiding enemies and things. Uh, maybe normal mode is more than okay because you'll get to play the game for a very long time anyway. So at least I would say 40 to 50 hours. Is there a... Uh, uh, mode easier than uh, normal? Yes, yeah, there's easy mode something too. Like that? Yeah, there's easy. Okay. So I think easy is probably you just uh, you don't even need to touch the controller. You, you push for one and uh, yeah, <laughs> and that's it. And that's you arrive a at your destination. That's a blim blim mode. Enjoy. Yep. Clearly. So yeah, uh, we've got uh, just a, a minute left. So if you want to to give uh, a final conclusion well uh, of course if you want to to know exactly what you think of the game 
and people can watch the well it's not a video review but it's a discussion about the review i guess yes. well it was English. it was limited because we only had 18 minutes so that's why i felt it was necessary well, to it's show it's the game live it's already quite a lot 18 minutes of video, video review if you remember it's a lot but when you have to talk about on death trending TV games so again, yeah but on game one the, the review will never the 20 minutes <laughs> no sure know. sure sure but uh, for a game like death trending uh, mm. And you and it's not something you've written like for the French video review. I wrote everything, sure. and it was really. I think I didn't say everything I wanted to say, but most of it was was there. Uh, but when you talk to someone, there are so many things you want to talk about that in the end you you realize that uh, you haven't had the time to to mention everything you wanted to to talk about. So and it's always a bit frustrating. So hence the. The, the the live stream tonight so uh, if you don't want to read the review which is yes it's shorter than the french one but it's still a very long review uh yeah. i mean especially because we so cannot find the time to to translate our reviews usually but we had two weeks two weeks to play the game uh take care of the videos and write the the uh, the reviews and sure the english one it was, you know, like last minute thing, but I, I felt I had to do it because I was given the time, and uh, that's not some, that's not a luxury we can uh, benefit from uh, a lot. Even, even with Sony, sometimes you know, you, you don't have that much time. So I think that was pretty cool of them to. Uh, well, and I think we were clearly uh, Kojima knows us. He Oh, you when uh, b uh, during the uh, Metal Gear Solid fight, yeah, sure, uh, days, I remember. We we worked with uh, well indirectly, but still, basically uh, Kojima Production when it was still Konami, uh, they, they gave us the raw files for the trailers. We were the only, the only site in the world, so I'm pretty sure uh, Ko Kojima when he got a list of French sites, he saw he saw us and uh, well Kojima or someone at Kojipo. I don't think he was the one who did it. But he clearly, uh, the, okay, I know these guys. Well, the thing is, um, because, you know, there's an online component that is so important, even if you can play without it, and you don't even need to, to be a PlayStation Plus member to actually play the game, which is, which is pretty cool. Uh, but usually games with an online component that is actually very important in the game, and it is, it, it is not just mechanically, it is for the... Uh, for the for the point the game is trying to make. Usually, what happens and see with the Ubisoft and games like the Division Two or even the Crew and things like that. I mean, they open the servers just before release and that's it. Yeah, well, it's 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 quite a bit different because oh yeah, this I is that. asynchronous uh, online in, in here, so there's no uh, someone is playing. It puts it puts something somewhere and someone else doesn't see it immediately. Yeah, sure, it's sure. just. So it's very, very different from... Uh, that's why it was no beta. He didn't, didn't require to do beta for this game mm. uh, because there is no actual load on the servers. No, well, no, you're it's right. It's going to have when there is a few million people uh, uh, putting stuff on the servers at the same time, but it's nothing uh, like uh, an actual uh, online game, even if online is important here. No, I know, so but, anyway, but we, you we, we really need to move on. Yeah, sure. So sorry to so me just uh, blabbering on and I, yeah. I, I, it's just me. So because I didn't get enough time to talk about this game. Uh, no, so, so, clearly not. So my, my opinion is the, I loved it. Uh, I, I'm very aware of it, of, you know, of the its shortcomings. Uh, and um, but I, I would I would play it again. Um, just just to enjoy not just the story but just just the the place the landscapes and the feeling of achievement you get accomplishment you get when you when you actually have made your delivery and uh, you've reached your final destination and here it's the same it's like you know it's quite a journey we took from the beginning of the live stream and we we haven't walked that much in terms of distance yeah right. and see you arrive here for the first time and you see oh, there's a bike we can take a bike well, not quite yet, but you know, there's the you know the carrot actually. Like, Ooh, you're going yeah. to get this. Keep playing, and that's that's what the game does very well too. All right, so I guess 
I don't know where, what what's the big uh, upcoming ga upcoming game we could uh, stream, but we well, will find something. There's Star the Wars, weeks. but uh, oh, yeah. the, uh, sadly the the premiere uh, the premiere uh, they call it like we we have the PC uh, premiere thing on uh, EA Access, mm -hmm. uh, but the game unlocks the day the game launches. What what what's what's the point? We, well, so with the access, we can play the game one week before, like uh, the games. Well, not for Star Wars. Uh, for Need for Speed, you you could play a few days because <laughs> I could play on on <laughs> Tuesday, and the game comes up tomorrow. Com comes out tomorrow. Okay. So no, the thing is, when you have EA access, you can if you premiere, you can play the game, and you don't have to pay it. And you can can play the full game from beginning yeah, to yeah. end. If you have the normal EA access uh, subscription, then you can try the game for a certain number of hours. So it's still something, but you don't get to play it beforehand, before the others, which I think is probably something that Disney didn't want people to be able to True. do because of spoilers or things like that. I'm pretty sure it's that. Right, so we are now late. We are. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So see you next time, guys. See you next time, and thanks for watching.